Hey guys, what's up? It's the Prodigy Eagle. Um, bringing you part two of my, I don't know how many parts it is actually. Um, whatever, how many part uh, until I hit to round 30 on Shangri-La. This was on the second day I did this um, of Shangri-La released. I was like ranked 500 in the world. But um, this is just going to be a series where I do various topics and uh, things over this gameplay. So uh, I, I like to get back more into commentaries because I feel like uh, I'm more of a commentary person. Plus I started... YouTube on commentary. So, before uh, I keep blabbering on, um, I'm just gonna talk what I'm gonna go over today. Um, I'm gonna explain kind of how Element 115 was introduced to the zombie storyline, and I'm gonna be making um separate like videos. I think I don't know if I'm gonna keep talking about it in this specific series kind of thing, or if I'm gonna um like have videos showing you each radio spot, hearing them, and talking about what it means and stuff along those lines. So. I have to see what I'm going to do, but um, for this one, I'm kind of just introducing you to the zombie storyline. Um, I'm really new to it. I've been, ex like, I spent hours, actually. It's kind of sad. I was up at 12. I couldn't go to sleep because, uh, I don't know, I was just tired. I wasn't that tired, and um, I was looking on various forums and sites and um, things that I never even knew and were really interesting, and um, I've learned a lot from it, and it's kind of crazy how in-depth the storyline is, and I don't... I'm, it's a crazy how they intend. I, I'm pretty sure they intended it to be this in depth, but um, I think it's really crazy. So, hopefully, you guys will enjoy this. I'm also going to be talking about um, if this doesn't take me that long, uh, Harry Potter, because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Like, I'm not. I, I read all the books three times, but that was like in sixth grade. Um, so that that was cool. I love the books. I love the movies. I think they're probably the best. Um, like adaption to books because most adaptions uh, from books to movies terrible but Harry Potter uh, they did it pretty pretty spot on I'll talk a little bit about that <laughs> and then um I don't know maybe some sports talk um depends all on how long this 14 minute commentary does this usually I don't do, like doing commentaries over like eight to ten minutes but whatever uh, hopefully you guys like my voice and um I can do this so let's start it off element 115 okay um, again, this zombie storyline. So apparently, um, how this was introduced, some people speculate, is the Tunguska event. I think it was, or the Tunguska explosion was a huge explosion that occur occurred in um, Tunguska, Russia, um, on June 30th, 1908. That's an actual thing that happened. That wasn't uh, something, but um, that's how they say um, Element 115, or some people are saying, was actually uh, come across, and. Um, the explosion caused, like, you know, everything, a huge explosion, destroyed tons of stuff. I read, I saw a documentary on it. Destroyed, like, acres and acres of land, just all the trees gone. And a uh, huge explosion. And um, I think, the, you know, the government covered it up by saying it was something else. But uh, I don't, like, it was an element 105 in real life, but that's how people say it was introduced to the zombie storyline, uh, the element. So. After the explosion, it's, um, you know, Russian forces came in and discovered it, and uh, I guess they began experimenting on it. Um, basically, Element 115 is like the key to understanding an ultra-secret black world, like, um, and it's it's supposed to create, um, like, it's capable of manipulating uh, gravity, space, you know, UFO kind of things, um, and that couldn't, like, how do I say this? It, uh... It's coerced with um, the discovery of Element 118, which I didn't know about that, and um, and it, when that decays, it goes uh, to Element 114, and uh, that further helps you know identify the possibilities of Element 115. Again, uh, this goes super in depth, and I'm gathering some stuff I found from various forums, and at the end of this, I'll link all those forums because it's not all my information, just stuff I've collected and written down. So uh, okay, so this guy kind of goes pretty deep, but uh, let me go back to that and this uh you know the how element 115 um contributes to um you know manipulating gravity in space uh contributes to the nazi uh conspiracy involving uh, wonder weapons they were actually creating to try to win the war in world war Two, and uh, they were trying to create like uh saucers and uh, all kinds of stuff um, i have I, I saw some documentaries on it kind of a history channel fan and um, they were actually trying to create, um, you know, wo wonder weapons. Actually, on uh, it's crazy how I, 
I don't know how close they were or whatever, but um, they were trying to. And um, you could see them on the chalkboards in Kino de Toten and uh, Thenderis and, you know, later in 5. So so that's kind of how Element 115 was introduced. I just wanted to um, start from the beginning. Again, that was kind of in-depth, but uh, that's from what I've collected, how it was introduced. Now I'm going to start with Nocturne and Toten, what that map has to do with the zombie storyline. It doesn't have to do too much, I don't think. Um, well, it's, this is up to you. But um, basically, what, El um, what happened in Nocturne and Toten is... Um, well, first, yeah, oh my God, there's so much stuff. It's so hard for me to talk about it without explaining everything. Um, I think Takio was captured by Nikolai, um, and I uh, see. I'm gonna. I guess I'll explain that how that happened in the Shino Numa commentary. But um, basically, Takio was captured by Nikolai, and uh, he was carrying because if you you know in Shino Numa, there's that big element 115 rock. So I'm not sure if the Russians went in there and took it. Or what happened there, but um, all I know is Takio was captured by Nikolai, that's why also they hate each other you can, when they're talking. And um, the American forces came and they, you know, took Nikolai, took Takio, and um, they took the Element 115 rock. Now they carried, I, no, they put, they brought uh, Nikolai and Takio to a near, um, like, uh, U.S. headquarters or whatever, and uh, they took the ro uh, Element 115 and, uh, a bunch of marines on a plane to bring it back to America and while that was going on um, it started driving some marines crazy so they were becoming very violent and um, it ended in um, the few remaining normal marines trying to kill all the zombi zombified I guess marines and um, what happened was the plane then crashed there was five marines that were normal and then you could see in the beginning the pilot was killed so that left four one of those four was Dempsey Tank Dempsey he's one of the four playable characters and um, and it ended up um, I think, believe one died trying to board up a window one died I, it's actually crazy I didn't write it all down but basically one survived and that was Tank Dempsey and um, after uh, that incident uh, with Nocturne Toten Tank Dempsey was um, I believe called for by an, I forget what organization it's OSS not sure what that stands for but he was called to them um, to lead a group of uh, men to this place called Doris and um, he was given a weird like unit to command um, you guys know them obviously oh, there one was a crazy German officer scientist Rick Toffin well, um, one was a uh, Japanese officer who, you know, as I told you before, was the prisoner of a Nikolai, um, and that's, again, why they hate each other. And one was a drunken Russian, um, Nikolai, who uh, claims he knows all about um, uh, Element 115 and uh, its whereabouts. But uh, here's where it gets kind of weird, because um, the whole reason uh, Rick Toffin, like I think he's, you can hear in quotes, he kind of gets angry. Uh, he hates Dempsey. Because he thinks it's, he doesn't know why he's being um, controlled. Like, because Dempsey's the leader of all of them. Um, I guess the group leader. He doesn't like being controlled by uh, what he says is stupid American. So, the whole point while Rick Toffin's doing this is because he's being ordered by the Illuminati. And most people know what, like, not know what the Illuminati is, but they've heard it before. You can look it up. It's like a secret organization. I don't even know too much on it, honestly. But um. The reason why uh, Rick Toffin's doing this is all believed uh, to be the work of the Illuminati because, uh, again, now I'm going to go back a little bit. He killed Dr. Maxis and so Samantha, Samantha, Dr. Maxis' daughter. And um, that also goes why uh, Hellhounds were introduced. But um, I'll quickly just explain that. Basically, um, Rick Toffin, if you see, I think, it, I forget, it's not a language it's written in, maybe, but there's a little um, thing in Doris, uh, like, on the ground, and if you translate it, it says, um, it's time to kill Maxis Richtofen. So obviously he's being ordered by a higher power, which is believed to be the Illuminati, and uh, that's, I, I even looked on um, Zombie Wiki for uh, Call of Duty Wiki, and it said uh, um, Dr. Richtofen's a part of the Illuminati. I don't know if he's doing it willingly, or he has to, that um, I'm not sure of, but Actually, no, he's do. I think he has to because uh, I think later in later games, um, you hear him saying quotes about how uh, he won't do it for them anymore or stuff along those lines. But um, the whole reason why he was uh was going to Darius is to carry out an operation uh, for the Illuminati. So that I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna go. I think that's enough for uh, um, zombies. 
And I had to pause throughout. You might hear my voice change when I go back and forth because um, some parts uh, I wrote wrong or um, it was just I wanted to explain it the right way. Uh, if you have any questions, just be sure to ask because f at first, uh, or you can even look it up, like, because um, I'm not going to upload this every day. It's going to be every couple days because I've been pretty busy with uh, just not YouTube <laughs> activities and, um, yeah, YouTube isn't my life, so I can't upload every day. Um, but yeah, again, as I just said, uh, just if you have any questions, be sure to message me. Or if I said something wrong, be sure to message me, comment. I always I look at every single message. Don't reply to every single message, but definitely look, definitely look at everyone and look at every comment. So and then I guess uh, for the last what four minutes of this commentary took up a whole ten minutes talking about zombies. But last uh, four minutes, I'll talk about Harry Potter. Uh, maybe if I get bored of that. Basically, um, as probably a lot of you know, Harry Potter uh, Part Two. Um, Harry Potter 7 Part 2 um, is coming out. Okay, I don't know when it's coming out. Thursday, I think. Uh, excuse me. Um, it's coming out Thursday, and uh, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I'm um, not huge on the level where you know I'd wear a wizard robe and I go there, but I probably would if I got a couple friends to do it with me. But um, I love it. I love the books. Probably the only book series I ever got into. This is the only movie series I've ever gotten into because no other movie would I go on the day of its release or I want to go so bad. So, um, that's, I think Harry Potter, probably the best movie series in my opinion. I, I love it, um, I don't know, I love the books, and, uh, I have to, as, as I said early in the commentary, um, it's the best book movie adaption, they did a great job, and I'm kind of glad they split part, uh, book seven, movie seven, into two parts to do it justice, because there's such, so much information in it, and, um, if any of you guys are seeing it, let me know, that'd be kind of cool, and, uh, I don't know, it's going to be awesome. It, apparently it's going to be packed at the movie theaters I'm going to, but uh, it's just cool. Harry Potter is, um, probably helps his British accent, so most of his humor is a lot funnier that way. <laughs> and uh, I guess real quick before I get off Harry Potter, um, how I got into it, um, if you guys care. Uh, the books, probably a lot of you got into the books. Um, well, I did. I, I got into the books before I got into the movies. Was uh, like, I think it was... <laughs> It's crazy how long I've been like reading these, or I've started reading these books. I think it was like second, third grade, maybe even first. That's when I read the first book. Then I started reading everyone after. I love those books. But um, yeah, it's gonna be again. Uh, good. I hope it's a great movie. Um, maybe I'll do a commentary about it or not. I don't know. Probably you guys don't want to hear about that. But uh, so for the final minute or so for this video I guess I'll talk about what's been going on um actually my channel I haven't been posting too much I'm supposed to post some other stuff but uh excuse me um I've been kind of I wanted to start a new series I don't want to talk about that because uh I don't want to want to say anything until I, if I'm going to do it but it was going to be some it was going to be a Modern Warfare 2 series and I thought it was going to be somewhat original but um I've seen other people do it I don't know maybe I'll still put it out if I can find an editor and um, if not, maybe I'll put like a can you hit it kind of thing where uh, I do shots and um, uh, you post video responses. The best one wins, a sh the best three, or depending on how many responses I get, best one gets a shout out or uh, in the next video or box spot. S maybe you guys want to do that, just let me know. Um, and uh, otherwise, actually, um, I was supposed to do this commentary yesterday. I had it all ready and. Um, I came home from a basketball game in the morning uh, because I play basketball. I don't know if anybody knows that. I don't think I've ever said that, but yeah, I play basketball. Um, and I turned on my TV and I was watching the USA game, women's soccer. And uh, I'm not a big fan of women's soccer. Never thought it was as good as uh, men's soccer. And that, it was a crazy game. I was screaming left and right because I get really intense. Like, yeah, I'm like kind of I become a douchebag when uh, I get into sports games. Same thing with football. Like, I'll start screaming if my team does something wrong, or you're right? And uh, that's what you gotta love about sports. But it was probably the craziest comeback I've ever seen because USA went up one goal. No, it was one nothing. Um, then they uh, Brazil tied it up on a couple BS um, penalties, if you ask me. But uh, I, I didn't think the refs did a good job um, on either side because uh, Brazil kind of got a lot of calls, and I didn't like that. Um, but it was a good game, and the, the USA won on penalty kicks. But uh, as this commentary ends, I'm not sure if I'm ending too soon. I can't see. Or I'm ending uh, maybe way far ahead. But 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do me a favor, just give that button a like if you're still listening, because this was a 14-minute commentary. So anybody that listened this far, you're awesome, and you're a true subscriber. So hope you guys enjoy this. If I can improve on it, <clears throat> anything, let me know. And uh, again, likes are help me out like crazy. So uh, I'll see you guys next commentary, next video, whatever. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.